the android provides best thing for you that's android lifecycle observers so when you want to create a class manages the higher resources then you should create a class that extends a lifecycle observer interface so i will quickly show it on develop efficient scalable apps with enthusiastic ideas start your journey and take your dreams to reality so we'll create a class that's resource handler for android to call your lifecycle callbacks you should extend it with lifecycle observer so i will show it for on start and on stop because that's where you should manage heavy resources so you can name this method anything but make sure that's fallacious so how you do is you annotate the method with lifecycle event on lifecycle event annotation then in the annotation you should pass in the lifecycle event our lifecycle event will be on stop event dot on stop similarly in the on the method you want to call in the on start just name and method and annotate it with on lifecycle event then pass in the lifecycle event on start so we have similarly for all the lifecycle callbacks you have different types of events so you can see on any means on any type of lifecycle event that method will be called so on create on destroy on pause for now we'll just pass in the on start okay we'll log here it's on start so we'll take the main activity tag that's not public so we'll make it public building i resource and in the on stop we'll log tearing down i resource that's the stop call there now you need to know the ender that from what component or uh, what specific object you want to object that has life cycle you want to call this callbacks so you should add life cycle observer to that component or class that has life cycle you should get just get life cycle and that's a method this life cycle is of, of the activity and just add the add observer and pass in the your observer here so our is resource handler so we need to make it a variable make sure you also remove the observer when you no longer need it okay we just run our app Openly lock that. We'll append something that so we'll know that this is from the resource handler plus rh. Again, from here plus. We'll just read on the app. Okay, you can see that on start is called from the activity. Then on start is also called from the resource handler before the on resume. Similarly. similarly on stop is called before the on stop method call back but it is called after on pause so the it will not lag or freeze your ui this is what you should know about activity life cycle please subscribe the channel if you want more such videos and press the like button if you like the video